Politics, bribes and football is a title of a deep investigation on FIFA's corruption turned into a book. I'm Luciene Miranda and this is São Paulo Direct by Ducas Cop TV in a partnership with La Presse. And I'll talk now to the author of this book, Jamil Shadi. Jamil, uh, what's the goal of this book? This book is actually an attempt to show to the world what really happens when you watch a football match. What happens when you buy a shirt, when ha what happens when you basically go to the stadium or even turn on the TV. Basically, what I try to show with documents, with, uh, with a deep investigation, is the fact that actually the fans are financing a group of oligarchs that have corrupted football. The objective is also to show fans that they can change things. They can pressure uh, the world of football, they can pressure the officials basically to change their behaviors. Now we have the police uh, already on the story. We have, uh, let's say, tribunals already judging the case. Now what we need is basically the fans to also push this and to promote a real revolution in football. Enough of corruption. When did you start this investigation? This is a work of 15 years. Um, yes, the, let's say, the bomb exploded on the 27th of uh, May 2015 uh, with the arrests of many of the officials at FIFA. Uh, but I have been covering FIFA and all these stories for the last 15 years. And what I did basically was to gather all this information to put together a number of documents that were showing that actually, actually, uh, Football was hijacked by this group of politicians, uh, officials, and even companies, and making a lot of profit out of this. Uh, this book, I say it's a, the work of 15 years, but of course I wrote it for, let's say, um, for the last four, four or five months. What do you think about the last World Cup here in Brazil? Um, I call the last World Cup in Brazil the robbery of the century. Uh, because it was actually the transfer of income of the Brazilian people paying taxes to actually an event uh, that was a private event at the end of the day. It was a private event and the income of this event was taken by FIFA. So actually we all in Brazil paid for a World Cup that actually did not leave a legacy. Uh, and not only that, it left a very bitter legacy, a legacy of corruption, of, of deviation of funds, and now what we see uh, is what we call white elephants, uh, stadiums around Brazil that are empty, stadiums that were built presumably to host football matches, and today they're hosting marriages, they're hosting, they, some of them are even uh, parking lots for buses today. So what legacy did this World Cup bring? Basically none. Do you fear any threat due to this book, this investigation? During the investigation, during the publication of some of my articles, a number of people have alerted me that probably I could go to a tribunal if I maintain this kind of stories. The case has never happened. Why? Because I use uh, documents, documents that, say by, that speak by themselves. It's not me speaking, it's the documents speaking, I'm just reporting. So these threats, they never materialized. Thank God. I don't write my opinion. It's not my opinion that matters. It's the documents, contracts, uh, even uh, documents from tribunals around the world. And this is what the book is about. The book is not about my opinion. It's not about what I think about football. It's what, a, it's what justice thinks about these people. And when, it, when will it be published in English? Hopefully... 2016. Some negotiations are happening at the moment, uh, both in English and in Spanish. Let's see. Probably the first semester of next year. Is it kind of an honor to Brazilian people who just love football? It is. It is actually a book. It, it's a funny to say, but it's a book in the defense of football, in the support of football. It's not a, a book against football. It's a book against the people who control today fo football. But it, it is a book uh, to promote football. It's a bo book to promote the fans. And it's a call to the fans to revolt, 
to take up arms. Uh, I'm not saying to take up real arms and shoot anyone, not at all, uh, by no means. But it is a call to revolt against this system. This system hijacked your emotions and transferred it to bank accounts in the Cayman Islands, in Andorra, in Switzerland, and made a lot of people very, very rich with your emotion. And, I mean, we cannot accept this any longer. Jamil Shad, thank you so much for joining us. It's my pleasure. My pleasure. Luciene Miranda to São Paulo Direct by Ducascop TV. Thank <laughs> you.